All right, I'll play one more, and Jack can come up. Thank you again. This is such a special privilege. Thank you to Sarah and Charlie. And I, you guys know this is so special for me. I just, uh, I can't even tell you. And I haven't fallen down at all yet, so I'm really surprised by that. I did that a lot on some of those trips. You come home with these weird bruises in places. And I'd like to send out a shout out to Cheppy because I couldn't have done it without Cheppy's margaritas in the open air car. No trip is sufficient without Cheppy. So the first, <laughs> I wrote this song because, well, one night in 1989, I was leaving a Grateful Dead show in Louisville, Kentucky. And you know, Grateful Dead is, their followers are known as deadheads of which I am guilty as charged at some point in my life. And the ironic point about the Grateful Dead show in Louisville, Kentucky, was they played the single worst version of Louie Louie you've ever heard in your entire life. Which is sort of a Portland institution because the Kingsmen wrote it right here. And on the record, we had this vintage studio gear and we actually had the very same compressor that the Kingsmen used for Louie Louie that we ran the tambourine through. And the only other thing I'd like to say is, I, you know, the first time I sort of met Ramblin' Jack was on one of these trains too, and we were driving across like the Canadian tundra, and we were all hanging out because and we were had this like raging discussion about waste paper in the toilets because there was something about like these old trains and how much toilet paper you could put in them one way or the other. And Ramblin' Jack was just kind of sitting there, staring out the window, just watching the world do himself. Not really paying attention to what we were doing, you know? And then his phone rang and we all sort of just shut up because, well, we wanted to give him a little space. And then he answered the phone and he said, Ramblin' Jack Waste Paper Company. <laughs> I was there, I know it happened. So thanks again, it's all true. I tell you, they're all true stories, Dave Carter once said. So this is a song about that night in Louisville, Kentucky, picking up a hitchhiker, a deadhead. It's called Hank and Jesus. South of Louisville, Kentucky. On I-65, I pulled into a rest stop before I pushed on through the night. I met a deadhead with a backpack, and man, I knew that guy. He asked, if you're heading south, well, I could really use the ride. But I'm only on this interstate Just as far as Bowling Green Then I'm cutting west towards Memphis Where the blues don't treat you mean And we drove the blue highways Across Tennessee and back And I don't recall not even once Stopping for gas He said, I know you won't believe me But that's all right I just wanted someone to talk with tonight. So I drove and he told stories, but they started sounding weird, like he'd been to Woodstock and never came back from there. Well, he said friends of his were angels, and most of them were saints, except this one guy named Judas, who he swore had been framed. Well, he believed what he was saying, man, but me, I had my doubts. So I pulled off at this bar, hoping he might clear out. And we drove the blue highways across Tennessee and back. And I don't recall not even once stopping for gas. He said, I know you won't believe me, but that's all right. I just wanted someone to talk with tonight. Well, in the parking lot, 
he came clean. He said he was Jesus Christ. And I said, yeah, well, then I'm Hank Williams, man. And maybe you should drive. He said Hank was back with Audrey now, and they were doing fine. But you know that not a one of us gets out of this world alive. So it's a hundred miles to Memphis in the middle of the night With those high beams searching for just a little light He said life is like this two-lane road, it's a crooked deal I said she pulls a little to the left, Jesus keep both hands on the wheel And we drove blue highways across Tennessee and back and I don't recall not even one stopping for gas. He said, I know you won't believe me, but that's all right. I just wanted someone to talk with tonight. He said, I know you don't believe in me, but that's all right. I just wanted someone talk with tonight. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Ramble Jack's up.